Excitement is in the air as these two sides make their first step towards the cup. There's no question about it, silverware is the target. All the action coming up next here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And now they get the ball rolling. Miedema and Badenstein. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. It needs an accurate cross. Has a go. And she's kept it out. No nonsense clearance. Getting forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, Portugal might be onto something. And crossed in the direction of the back post. A deft clearance. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. Long way out, this. And it was on the target, but the keeper up to the task of saving it. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal!
Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. An interceptor there. Costa. And the keeper with the ball. On the offensive, excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. A very effective challenge put in. Roared. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. And the keeper more than equal to it. They're going for the short one. Sherry da Spitze. Could be! And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Well, the timing was perfect, ball one. Linets Berenstein. Gomes. Anna Borg. Jessica Silva. It's a promising move from Portugal. But the danger averted for now. And room now out on the wing. And reading it absolutely superbly. Costa. And the keeper has it now. And a goal kick given. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. And the pass, a good one. Portugal being afforded too much space here. It has to be! It's come off the keeper and holding on to it at the second time of asking. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well, she wasn't all that far away. Yeah, but had it been on target, I don't think the goalkeeper would have been troubled by that one. It was a fairly tame shot in the end. Well, the referee took note of the earlier incident and now issues the yellow card.
And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Losing possession here. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And let's give credit to the defending. Jill Ward. Oh, this is looking promising. Ward! And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Did well to push it past their opponent. Big chance to get them on turns. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Viviana Miedema. Opportunity in the wide area. Roared! Well, not to be for her in front of goal. Well, that's a poor miss in what was a great situation. It's still in the balance here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Krunen. On to Miedema. Borg. Crossing opportunity. And a no-nonsense clearance. This could be the equaliser, and it is the equaliser! Well now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. She's got to have that covered for me. No wonder she's frustrated with herself. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. That's a good looking ball. Can she find the right pass? Just failing to hit the target. Good effort though. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, you can't take your eyes off this one, because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far.
And that pass could be troublesome. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Linets Badenstein not much defensive cover there on the flank a oh, disappointing end to the move oh it might be and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here well here's the replay and just look at that power that's almost unstoppable that's a great strike The current scoreline, 4-2. Five minutes left. Nazareth. Could pull one back here. And able to close down the shots. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, couldn't get it past that first defender. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Simple catch, really. The final whistle, and it's gone the wrong way for Portugal in this one. Not at all the result they were hoping for. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out.